GCC is committed to student success by leading with our core values of diversity, inclusion, and equity. We believe these values and the courage to act on them even in the face of adversity are what unites us. College study is the process of acquainting students with values and procedures central to scholarship. So all students are expected to do their own work and all forms of cheating and plagiarism are absolutely forbidden. That's how we define academic integrity and our expectation is that professors, students, researchers, and all members of the academic community abide by this policy. They're at the heart of what it means to be a vaquero. In this video, we'll discuss GCC's academic honesty policy outlined in your college catalog, tips to be academically successful, and most importantly, why academic honesty is crucial to your education. And what better way to have this conversation than hearing directly from your peers? Academic integrity to me means the ability to form your own ideas and information. And you can't do that if you're stealing or taking ideas that already exist from somebody else. So it limits your potential to share ideas and participate in class discussions. The person fully understands and fully knows the information that they are going to be accredited to know. You have to have a passion for what you're doing. If you don't have a passion for what you're doing, you're obviously going to go and cheat yourself out of it. We're bridging and developing it ourselves for the remainder of our lifetime. You can't be, you know, living a lie and expecting to reach higher heights. Now, GCC identifies seven forms of academic dishonesty. First, copying another student during an exam. Turning in work that is not your own plagiarizing someone else without proper sourcing, deceiving your instructor to improve your grade, submitting a paper you wrote for another class, using tools prohibited by your instructor, and stealing exams or materials. A lot of people think plagiarism is just copy-paste, but it's actually a bit more complex. Let's dive into some of these gray areas. Chegs, however, does have a thing where you could take a picture of like a question for homework and an expert will answer it better than anyone I know. And then there is the, I'm using this for cheating, or I'm doing this for my homework. I think that's definitely a very good studying tool on your own time to learn, to learn the material better. Don't copy something on the internet, enter it in as your, as your own. You know, you could find some help from the internet or from people, but again, not like direct answers. If you want to go into research one day too, like you, you have to be able to make your own discoveries and you can take the credit from somebody else. And I think that's something that comes up a lot when we're talking about that gray area. At Glendale College, we're inspired by great ideas. We don't steal them. So now that you're all caught up, let's talk about some tips for success. We oftentimes convince ourselves that, you know, we don't have enough time. And it's about managing your day. It's about really putting a chart of the priority things that matter in that particular day. Proactive, not reactive is what, you know, my family always tells me. So the more, you know, you work ahead on things, when you fall behind, that's when stress, and it's not good for your health, it's not good for anything. And you won't do as good of work. So if you build that co connection with the professor, they're gonna see that you're actually putting in the work, that you're actually trying, and they're gonna see that, and they're gonna take that into account when they're grading your papers, grading your exams, your quizzes, you know? There's resources here at GCC that people can use um, who are in a time crunch, and there are students out there who are willing to help you. Like, we're all willing here to help each other. Doing those things helps you feel better and reduces the desire to cheat. So things that I do is I um, take really good notes in class, really good notes. I study in 40-minute um, sessions and then take a 20-minute break so that I don't get overwhelmed by information. And also I make a bunch of Quizlets. Even if a Quizlet for something already exists, mm -hmm. typing out the information myself gets it into my head, as well as writing physical notes instead of typing them out the um, kinesthetic learning style really helps because writing it out is another method of getting it in. College is new, sometimes intimidating, and the pressure to do well can be intense. We get it, and we're here to support you because we're committed to your academic growth. I think those habits you know, can really take you, make you feel proud of yourself and work hard, and the harder you work, 
the more you'll get back, I feel like. If you start studying, putting in the work, putting that work ethic, that's going to transition over to your actual workplace and your job. It's a short-term fix that will eventually just lead to your own detriment because you won't have the information and knowledge base that you need for your own future. But if it's for a major prep class, you shouldn't even be thinking of that. This is stuff you really need and to retain. And it's going to help you in the long run for what you are setting up yourself um, to do career-wise. When you consume that information, you learn in class, you take notes, you go home, study for hours and hours, and you take that test and you get like an A on it, you really feel like, yeah, you've accomplished something. Your hard work will pay off. Remember, your faculty members do care. They are teaching you information that will build a better future for you. If I was plagiarizing, if I was doing what I wanted and then only like looking online the answers and things like that, I would not have discovered my passion for what I want to do for the rest of my life. We had to like, I think, kind of defend the integrity of our, our, our school and our institution as well. It's part of the prestige and it's part of the ability that like you'll have to have that information. You can't climb any higher. Mm -hmm. You'll have to rely on yourself. We don't want Glendale College to be known as the school full of cheaters. No one can take away that success. No one can take away your knowledge. No one can can ever say, you know, like, you know, I've done this for you. And the reality is you did it for yourself.